What is up, Sweeney gang? Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Stop. I know. I've been gone for like a while. I know y'all miss me. But if y'all don't know who I am, well, join the Sweeney gang and find out. Hit that subscribe button down below before I even start this video. Guys, if you have been part of the Sweeney gang, then I am so sorry for my OG subscribers um, for not posting. As you can see, I am completely in a different, like, area. I just moved into my new apartment. I'll do a new video about that. Kind of like, you know, I haven't posted for like two to three weeks because like I was just getting all of my stuff together and I was like, it was like kind of stressful, kind of not. I didn't have like any of my stuff. Like I still have bags of like clothes and other stuff. And on top of everything, I don't have Wi-Fi. <laughs> so it kind of... It kind of sucks a little bit, but besides that, I just want to let you guys know that I'm back and I'll be uploading consistently back to back to back to back. So, we are going to grow the Sweeney game. But anyway, for this video, um, I partnered up with Cupsheet again. So, they sent me a few bathing suits. I'm going to try them on and see how they look with you guys. Uh, if you guys want to comment down below what your favorite bathing suit was, definitely go and do that. Make sure you subscribe, like, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is... <laughs> Sweeney underscore Sydney, and thank you again to Cupshe for sending me these videos. If you guys want any of the links to the bathing suits, they're gonna be down in the description box down below with a discount code, which I always have. So stay tuned for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys like. Comment down below, and let's get into the video. Like I said in the beginning, so I'm still trying to set up my studio and still trying to get my lighting together, but yeah, so I do apologize for the lighting. But as you can see, this is the white one piece bathing suit. With this one, um, I, I really do like the fit. Um, the fit feels really comfortable right here. I don't feel like my boobs are gonna go anywhere or like pop out because as you can see right here, it is a little open, which is fine. I don't know, the only thing that kind of feels weird about this bathing suit are like the little like, I guess they're supposed to be like flower petals. Those are like, <laughs> these are like the only things that feel like a little like weird. They, they kind of feel like Velcro. But I mean, you can't really like feel them, feel them. But, well, kind of, a little bit. They feel weird, like I don't know how to describe it. I mean, I always feel like there's like a bug like crawling on me because this thing like hits me like right here. <laughs> But that's just me. It's a size small, so I do, you know, it fits the size. I'm usually small with like my bathing suits. The back is, the back is really cute. As you can see, it kind of like straps around-ish. So I do like that. Uh, scale one, one out of 10, 10 being the best, I'm gonna give this bathing suit, for my preference, about a six. I tried it on and I was like, oh, it's cute, but it's not, I'm not really into one pieces, and if I am, I kind of want them to be a bit sexier, so this is more on, like, the conservative side, um, so if you guys are looking for something a little bit more, like, classy, a little bit more, like, maybe, I don't, I guess vintage-y, I would definitely go for this bathing suit. It's really cute, comfortable, except for right here, but other than that, I do give it a six, which is... care for because I thought the top was a little, a little bit too big but now I can say that after wearing it um well putting it on this time I don't know how I like put it on a little bit differently and I do like it a lot better the way I put it on if that makes sense like basically the top I'm not gonna lie the top I don't really like because 
Um, I got to say small. Everything that I got was a small, right? But the top is not meant for like the itty bitty titty committee. It's really not. <laughs> so the bottoms, you know, just like the other ones, they are like, they're not going to be like a thong shape. They're not going to be like the little like, they're going to be more conservative bottoms. Um, so the top, you know, the top is actually a little bit bigger. Um, so what I did was when I put it on, I took the bottoms and I kind of just like pushed them down a little bit more because if I were to cover like my whole boob area, you know, they start, it would start looking a little bit weird. Granted, it feels more comfortable, but it's just, it makes me look like I have granny boobs. So me keeping them like this doesn't make me look, it makes me look like I don't have any boobs, <laughs> but I do find this bathing suit that if I pull this up higher and pull this down a little bit lower, it looks really good. And it, it kind of made the bathing suit for me go from like a, a 5 to a 8. Yeah, a 5 to an 8. So this one, um, I'm actually going to the pool in a little bit and my friend should be texting me like any minute. So I honestly was debating on wearing either this one or the red one. Those are two of my favorite ones. So. Okay, so this is how it looks with uh, the strap that it comes with. It does go, it is a one strap that goes like around your neck. It's reversible. You can take it off like how I had before or you can put it back on. Now, I do prefer this one actually strapless. I think it's really pretty strapless. I like the way that I put it on. I like the way that like I had it, but with this, it's kind of like the granny boobs. But <laughs> even though that I say that, strapless, now that I went back and like I looked at myself in the mirror, this one's really, really cute. It might be like a nine and a half to almost a ten. I think this one might be one of my favorites too. I had to relook at myself because at first I was like so excited for this bathing suit and I put it on and I was like, no. But um, you know, then I put it on again and I was like, okay, I actually really like this. So um, I mean however you guys ow, however you guys want to wear it is like totally up to you and like your preference. For me personally, I just kinda like um, having it strapless. I would say that's a thing with cup she. So I, it's not like, you know, if you haven't gone, if you haven't seen my first video of the first haul that I did with cup she, make sure you go check it out. I'm going to have it right up here. Um, when I first did that video, it was the same thing. Like you'll hear me say when I first tried on the bathing suits, I didn't really like them that much. And then I retried them on and I was like, oh, holy crap, like I really, really like these bathing suits. So when you get the bathing suits, they just, you have to really, they're, they're different, like a different material and they're made just a little bit differently. So you have to really work with um, how to put them on. That way they can look the best for your body. Think. I'm gonna have like everything um, linked down below in the description box so if you want to get these and get a discount off you totally can and I think this is the wine colored one I could be wrong but I think this one is by far my absolute favorite um, it's very different as you can see the top um, it's almost like a top it's almost like a shirt so it does go like you know down my shoulders like this which is you know I don't have any bathing suits that look like that and the bottoms are actually not high-waisted but like a kind of like a v-shape like you saw before um, they're really cute like you can see from the back so from the back it's very very simple very chic and pretty and a little like it has like a little bit of 
sexiness without being sexy, if that makes sense. Yeah, this one, it feels really comfortable. It does have padding right here, like um, uh, boob padding, but you can't even tell, you can't see it. It's not like one of those like tacky bathing suits where um, you can like see the padding, you know, like, oh, she has like circles on her boobs, they're like squares. No, it's nothing like that. So um, the material is very thick, which I, I really like, just like the other bathing suit as well, the white bathing suit. Um, that one was very thick as well. I have to say, um, this is my second time, um, you know, getting or receiving uh, bathing suits from Cupshe. And each time, like, every bathing suit that I had, like, the material has always been A1. So on a scale of 1 to 10, by the way, this is a small. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I definitely give this bathing suit a 8.5 to 9. The reason why I don't say 10 is because up here, I do feel it, like it's a little bit bigger. Um, I wish it was a little bit smaller, a little bit tighter, and yeah, I think it's just this part. But other than that, still definitely like an A on my list, and this is by far my favorite. Sounds a little weird. I just ate a whole bag of like something hot and my mouth is on fire. Anyway, so um this bathing suit I, I like. It's really bright, so I really like the color. I like the orange color. Um I'm not a fan of like florally bathing suits, but this one I actually do like the the the, the design and like I don't know, like it's a really pretty, like I like how the colors like kind of like flow together. It's really pretty. Um the only thing, the dislikes, uh, right here, there's like a lot of string going on and I'm not really a big fan of that, but other than that, like the bathing suit's really cute. Um, it can be a strapless bathing suit as well. So if you take off like, if you take it off like that, it can definitely be a strapless bathing suit. In the back, as you can see. Um, just a normal like one piece or two, uh, excuse me, two piece. Yeah. So I really like this bathing suit. It's really comfortable. It's, it feels like it's just like a normal like two piece. Um, there is padding in here, but like uh, I would say like majority of cup sheets bathing suits are very good with like their padding um, not being shown. So I do appreciate that. Quality, really amazing. Um, the only thing that I'm confused about are the bottoms because to me like the bottoms are in between high-waisted and not high-waisted because they're obviously not high-waisted but they go higher than like what bikinis like would. They just look bigger. So all of their bathing suits are very like somewhat conservative but um, I don't know. I feel like this one's like really really cute. This one's like a definitely like a spring break or you know like a summer bathing suit. Obviously, like, the theme is Dreaming of Summer, like, in my title. So, I definitely, this is bright, this is fun, this screams, like, look at me when <laughs> you're out, like, on the beach. So, I really do like this bathing suit a lot. I do give it a, a 7, because I kind of want um, my boobs to, like, pop out a little bit more. You know, if you really don't have that, then kind of want a little help, but, um, you know, all bathing suits are made different. So, if I'm being honest, though, guys, I really do uh, prefer this as a um, strapless. I find it to be a little bit cuter. This one, pretty cool. I like the design the most. And let's move on to the other one. All right, guys. So last but not least is this black bathing suit. And the reason why I didn't model it from the beginning was because I lost the bottom. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyways. This bathing suit, when I put it on, um, the reason why I'm not really tripping about like the black bottoms is because they pretty much just look like all the other bathing suit bottoms that I showed you, just in black. So, yeah. <laughs> but the, uh, this bathing suit top was very unique. So when I picked it, I was like, okay, this is going to be like really, really cute, right? Well, this is probably my least favorite bathing suit because it's literally just... 
a little too kiddish, childish for my taste, if that makes sense. So, I mean, other people, don't get me wrong, like, I think it's a really cute bathing suit. Material is fantastic. Everything about this bathing suit is great. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, for me personally, it's not something I'm going to be like, <laughs> Let me go outside because my girl is here and we are about to go swimming and we are going to look so cute. I wear this maybe like in high school, but you know, but then again, you know, this may be for other people's tastes. Um, definitely a good brand of like swimwear. I cannot take that from them. Um, their, their clothes are very high quality, very good. And I kid you not, like this is very cute, but for someone else. So if you think this is cute, I definitely recommend going down in the description bar down below, clicking on the link, using my discount code, and getting yourself one. But that is actually it for this video, you guys. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure if you're not subscribed to the Sweeney Gang, you can go down below, hit that subscribe button. It's only one click. Be a part of the Sweeney Gang. I don't have a post notification uh, shout out today for this video. Like I said, as you can see, like I'm not in my typical like studio. I'm kind of building it because I did move apartments. That's a story on its own. But I will be posting regularly. So I'm sorry I left you guys for a while. Haven't posted a video in like about two or three weeks. But I promise you, I'm going to have videos consistent, even though this apartment has no Wi-Fi. So, it's going to be pretty interesting to get these videos up, but I promise you, I'll get them out for you guys. Anyways, like, subscribe, hit the subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys in my next video.